First of all, I thank you so much for talking to me. Of course. Thank you for talking to me. Of course. Well, look, I saw this Run Lola Run. No idea what I was getting into. I saw it years and years ago. We won't date ourselves too much. And oh my God, I was blown away. It was you, your performance. I became an instant fan. Uh, I, I was blown away by what Tom did. Wow. So I went to see it last week in the theater. I haven't watched it for a while. Oh my God, you could go into that movie today, have no idea what you're watching, and it's, <laughs> it's as fresh as anything you're seeing today. That's I, wonderful. Yeah, I mean, Great. how, uh, from coming from your standpoint, this, is a, this was a hell of a way to kind of kickstart a good career. <laughs> how did you become involved? And looking back, how, how much did you learn from the experience? Oh my God, I think that a lot of my experience as an actor, filmmaker myself, or person is dates back to Run Lola Run. I think when I, when we made the film, I was uh, fresh out of acting school. I lived in Munich. I, you know, I, I didn't know much about independent film. I didn't have the vocabulary to articulate it really. Um, and I, you know, met Tom and from the very first moment, I do. I don't remember where we met exactly, but I do remember that, you know, also like having spoken with him doing interviews together, like what he still is, he was then, which is like, he was a very inclusive talker. Like he kind of led you in immediately on his um, interior landscape, so to speak. Um, he was very, he was inviting me into like the artistic creative process i know it sounds a little cheesy but like immediately so as a young actor at the time like i felt immediately like elevated you know and i think when that happens which is very rare um unfortunately where you're like hey guess what it doesn't take a lot you know but people are not aware you know like but he lifted me up um, and included me, so we kind of tapped into each other's flow in, in, in a way. And what that did was, in, very early on, it made me feel like very safe in that space, but also that we could do anything. It was kind of like, okay, let's get ready to create something. Let's 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 do something good. So, you know, like a lot of people ask about like, oh my God, there was so much running and that, what, the, uh, how exhausting was that? It wasn't because the, we were, all of us we were carried so much by this process, I guess, you know, like when, when something is right, like you don't care as a musician, as a, any, you don't care about, you don't worry about how many people are going to see this? How is it going to turn out? You're so engulfed in the process. The process is everything that that is what I experienced. And as a young person to have that trust and, and go home every night feeling like we really did something today. I had no idea when we set out this morning. That is very formative, you know? And of course, you know, in your career, not every experience can be like that, for sure not. But you strive for that because you have experienced it once, right? It's kind of like if you flow in business class, like coach will feel pretty tough every time, you know, like and you try to strive for that comfort or whatever. And so when I directed my film a home like four or five years ago, yeah. there were so many shortcuts to that time. Actually, when we shot Lola, like this whole spirit of we can do it. And we had so many limitations, as did I, you know, like as to budget and time and all these things that, you know, Tom was and is such a filmmaker in its core, like that there will always be is a solution. There's no, no for, no for an answer. You don't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. And this whole spirit of that, that started for me with Lola as an experience is still with me today. Wow. And it's so much fun to relive it and talk about it. You know, that's really a gift. That never happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who, honestly, it's a rare thing for a movie to get a release, a re-release after this many years, decades. And right. And still feel relevant. I mean, for you too, I mean, this seems like, it, it does seem like a gift. 
uh, like this is a this is a role that you got to, how much did you create how much were you in on the look the feel the this is a brilliant character <laughs> <laughs> i mean i was there but to be honest with you the way i went about it then and i still do as an actor is like i really appreciate um you know the input of every department i don't want the hair department to do my job we can talk about it you know because there's of course crossover and and um, i love collaborating i'm a team player but i prefer when people do what they hire to do and what they you know i think because i think this goes back to what i just said you know like people feel elevated by trust if you say you know what i believe you have a reason to be here because you're good let, let's see what you got you know like instead of me going in like oh this is what i think you know yes. so uh tom had a lot of ideas we, we just tried things it was less precious we really just tried things i remember with the costume we were at the house of the costume designer we just tried things that made sense and i was lola's age at the time I was like 23 or whatever. So the Doc Martens and certain style and this and that, like that was part of what I would wear also. And the hair color, we tried different colors, but red was the obvious choice. You know, if you imagine like, in front of that monochromatic backdrop that Berlin also was with a lot of concrete, a lot of grays. Um, it just all kind of fell into place because we gave it our attention to detail. I think when you do that, you know, when you don't rush things, when you're just like, yeah, wait a minute, let's just look at it, you know? Then you see things configurate. You just need to give it your attention. I feel like that's such a luxury in filmmaking too. It's such a rare thing to see that. Yeah, but I think uh, because, you know, now with being digital and stuff, like, of course we have a different pace, but I do think it's also like, Filmmaker, sometimes you have to insist, you know, or you have to have that conversation. You have to say, this is important to me. It doesn't make your movie go over, or you know what I mean? Like, and you have to include people in the process. You know, if you make the process fun, and if you, especially as a filmmaker, if you give yourself over and make that make yourself vulnerable and open to questions, and, and if you let other people be part of the solution, then people want to spend time, you know, but if it's not clear what's going on and people are kind of talking, you know, the, the processes that are interesting to potentially everybody, yeah, then nobody wants to be part of staying longer or, you know, staying around for stuff. Yeah, yeah. I Well, here's the thing. Like, I, I again, I, saw, I was so moved by the film, by the energy of it. Tom has such a unique style and you know I was going to ask about him a little bit but I'm going to ask for your perspective what makes him an interesting director and how what what was the challenge of finding some of that sh those shots and making it feel so just quick um he is very like uh as a, as a filmmaker, he's very inclusive. Like he's not someone who maybe keeps the cards close to his chest or something, or is a power player. Like he's very collaborative, and so um, because he he knows that uh, that's where a lot of energy comes from. You know, you need you want people interested and on your side. Um, how he came up with a concept of shooting things of course that would be a question for him but i know that you know we tried a lot of things with um you know like with different vehicles and, and ways to keep it dynamic obviously there's yeah. a thing about um it was so interesting that he said the other day about running left to right i can't get that together i hope you get a chance to ask him that because they have very interesting answers in that but i think that he has a great interest in subjectivity you know he doesn't he's not interested in making vague statements about anything he wants to be very specific and subjective um, and he gives that to the characters and hence the actors so yeah he's a collaborator and yet he has a very strong vision but it just all kind of falls into that realm, into that lane, if you open yourself up like he does, I think. 
Right, so I know we gotta wrap it up pretty soon, but I just want to ask one thing, one last question about you as a filmmaker. I mean, you kind of do everything. You're a musician. You're a, you're an incredible actress. What is it about filmmaking for you that, that really connects? And is that something that has become more, maybe more important than performance? Well, I mean, unfortunately, like also after the strike and this and that, like the l landscape in America for independent film and funding of it, and it's really just complicated. So I wish I could, I wish I could be doing it every day of my life. I had so much fun. I love the process, it's so invigorating. And a lot of it really goes back to a lot of things that I learned or experienced doing Run Lola Run, you know, like when I directed my film, I I was there and thought so many times, you know, because you, everything was so hands-on and nothing was an obstacle. You would just deal with everything in a creative way, you know, like there was never anything we couldn't shoot for Lola, and then I, I handled it the same way in my in in my film, so. Yeah, I mean, I wish, I wish, and hopefully there's a time in my career where I can do it more often, but we'll see how the dice fall, like how the landscape reconfigurates, you know, in the U.S. for independent film. Yeah, well, it's honestly an absolute pleasure. A big fan of your work. Really Thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one.